So you can see from those three little excerpts, uh, those are, these are uh, not traditional theater performances. And I, I wonder about your training as a performer. Mm -hmm. Did you set out to be a traditional actor or did you set out to be a theatrical polymath or was it the consequence of your training that you ended up being equally empowered to write, direct, design, well, I went act? to a theater conservatory in Quebec City and of course my, I wanted to be a film actor. That's what everybody wanted okay. to do, or a TV actor. So I was 17, and I cheated on my age. I was, you know, you had to be 18. So I said I was 18, but I was 17. Mm -hmm. And, um, which of course I was not mature enough to, to go to acting school. <coughs> so anyways, I went to act acting school, and while I was there, uh, I found my teachers, my acting teachers, quite boring. And I felt really, really, I was very compelled to directing and designing and lighting and sound and all these other things that I never thought I'd be interested in. And it was all part of... <coughs> some some theatrical expression, and I was going, my God, there's some, there's more to 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 um, to theater than just acting. There's other stuff. There's other layers, other facets, and stuff. So I started to be more and more interested by that. But then when I came out, um, it wasn't a time where there wasn't a lot of theater going on, um, affordable or accessible theater going on in in the part of the, of the world I I was brought in. It was for the bourgeoisie. You went to the theater, and you know you had to have money and all that so the only theater you could see was what was happening in the streets the political theater and the and the theatricality that was in rock and roll uh there was it was the days of progressive rock so genesis uh you know the bands the emerson lake and palmers and all it was very very theatrical you know that's where the theater was much more than what you saw in the, the bourgeois theaters <coughs> and then you had people like laurie anderson who wasn't from the theater, but was more theatrical than theater people. You had Pina Bausch, uh, who was more theatrical than... And so I became very, very obsessed by that type of theatricality, and, and I wasn't influenced at all by, by the theater, the actors, or the directors that I'd, I'd, I'd see. So I'd, I was trying to move towards a kind of theater that would kind of welcome the vocabulary of these uh, other people from other disciplines who were more theatrical in a certain way, who believed in, in theatricality to convey a message or to tell a story.